Hi, I'm Dave Burse, and we're going to do something new today. We're going to go hunting for inspiration. I'm out and about, close to where I live, and we're going to do an exercise today that I very often do in my workshops. And it's to show people how to be inspired by anything, because a question I often get asked is, where do you find inspiration? So I show people how to find it absolutely anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and find just random objects, and we're going to try and pick up some principles that we can learn from those objects, and then these principles are things that we can apply to our own ideas. So, let's see what we can find. So the object we want to learn from today is this bust of James Walker. He's the guy who designed this dog that's behind us here. So let's see if we can get three principles to learn from this bust. So the first principle I think we can learn from this is give credit. I mean this statue is giving credit to the guy who built this incredible body of water behind us. Some industries are very good at giving credit. The film industry, obviously at the end you've got several minutes of all the names that have been credited for doing everything in the film. The music industry is very good at credit, obviously credits the songwriters, credits the musicians. Uh, you've got the art world, naturally, credits the artist. So credit's quite a powerful thing. Could you give credit for something where credit is not normally given? So something, a physical product, a digital product, uh, an app, uh, input that people have made to the company. See what happens when you try to give credit. It might take you somewhere. The next principle you could probably learn from this is help people remember something. You know, this statue here is to help people remember who it was that built this. Because otherwise, none of us would know. We wouldn't know who this guy was, we wouldn't know who was responsible for it. Is there anything you can do to help people remember something? Because people have difficulty remembering these days. There's something called the Google effect, which means if you've seen something online or in a digital medium, then there's a very good chance that you're going to forget it because you think it's already stored. You think you can search for it and find it whenever you need it, so you don't retain it in your head. So is there anything you can do to help people remember something more effectively? So the third principle I think we can learn from this is add a story. That's what this statue is all about, is adding a story to this structure that he helped to build. Now, when you add a story, it gives meaning, and when you give meaning, it adds value. So is there anything you can do to use story to add value to whatever it is that you're doing? There we go. There's three things that might be able to inspire us to have an idea we wouldn't normally have. If you found this video helpful, then please like it, share it, comment below. Is there anything else that you think that we could learn from this? Maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already and click the little bell icon. You know all the stuff. All the people who are doing stuff on YouTube are saying the exact same thing at the end of the video. So really, do I have to say it? Yeah, probably. Well, I'll be back soon. I'll be doing some more of these. In the meantime, big love to your beautiful brain.